Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is an eye disease that can cause blur in your central vision. It happens when aging causes damage to the macula, which is the part of the eye that controls your sharp, straight-ahead, detailed color vision. The macula is part of the retina, which is the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. And in this video, I'll answer your top four questions about macular degeneration, including, what is the main cause of macular degeneration? What are the warning signs? Do you always go blind with macular degeneration? And how long does it take to go blind with macular degeneration? Welcome back to eye school with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so that you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. And give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. So what is the main cause of macular degeneration? So it's generally caused by abnormal blood vessels that leak fluid or blood into the macula. The macula is the part of the retina responsible for your central vision. There are two main types of age-related macular degeneration. There's dry or atrophic and wet, which is neovascular or exudative. In dry macular degeneration, fatty deposits called drusen develop on the macula and researchers believe that these spots are deposits or debris from deteriorating tissue. Many of the genes that cause macular degeneration have been sequenced and we can even test to see if you inherited these genes, meaning that macular degeneration is indeed an inherited condition. However, we also know that certain behaviors can encourage or discourage these genes from expressing themselves. Smoking is one one of these behaviors we know to exacerbate and accelerate macular degeneration, increasing the risk of more serious disease and vision loss. So which of the types of macular degeneration is the most serious? Well, wet macular degeneration is more serious and is the leading cause of permanent central vision loss. Though the dry type is less serious, it can lead to the wet type if not monitored closely by a doctor. And the dry type of macular degeneration can actually cause pretty severe vision loss as well, even though it's typically wet macular degeneration that gets credit for the most vision loss. Wet macular degeneration is a chronic eye disorder that causes blurred vision or a blind spot in your visual field. It's generally caused by abnormal blood vessels that leak fluid or blood into the macula. And we know where that macula is. It's the part of the retina responsible for central vision. Wet macular degeneration is one of just two types. Of course, the other is dry, which is more common and typically less severe visually. The wet type always begins as the dry type. Early detection and treatment of wet macular may help reduce vision loss and in some instances even recover vision. So what are the warning signs of macular degeneration? Well, wet macular degeneration and dry have pretty much the exact same symptoms that usually appear suddenly and worsen rapidly. So in dry macular degeneration, you can certainly have some visual distortions, straight lines seeming bent, a reduction of your visual acuity in one or both eyes, the need for brighter light when reading or doing close-up work, although that's also really common with cataracts as well. So if you're just needing more brighter light, it's not necessarily macular degeneration. We also notice decreased contrast sensitivity in patients with macular degeneration and decreased color vision. So it gets harder and harder to see shades of gray and different colors because the macula is responsible for so much of that visual work. You can also have increased difficulty adapting to low light levels, such as when entering a dimly light lit restaurant. You can have increased blurriness of printed words, decreased intensity or, or brightness of colors, difficulty recognizing faces since macular degeneration does affect central vision, and you might even have a well-defined blurry spot or blind spot in your field of vision. Now the difference in how these visual symptoms present is that in dry macular degeneration, it typically is going to come on kind of slowly and be a little harder to notice. Now, once your doctors diagnosed you with dry macular degeneration, we'll often give you something called an Amsler grid. I'll show it on the screen. But an Amsler grid is simply a grid that you can put on your refrigerator and look at each and every day. You're going to cover an eye, look with one eye at a time, and then cover the other eye. You look at the center of the grid, 
watching to make sure that you can see all four corners of the square, that all of the lines are straight and aren't um, distorted, and that you don't have any blacked out or grayed out areas. Now this is a valuable tool that we use clinically for our patients with dry macular degeneration to monitor for the change to wet macular degeneration. As I stated before, it's very important to treat macular degeneration, wet macular degeneration, as quickly as possible because intervening earlier does result in better visual outcomes. So let's talk about what macular degeneration actually does to your vision. It actually really doesn't affect your peripheral vision. So the disease that affects peripheral vision is more often glaucoma. So macular degeneration actually doesn't typically cause total blindness, meaning blackout blindness, total blindness. It more commonly, what it really causes is loss of central vision, color vision, detail, difficulty reading in the center. But most patients with macular degeneration do retain their peripheral vision. So if you're watching this video and wondering if you should see an eye doctor, first of all, yes, I believe every adult should see an eye doctor every year, even if you've always seen 2020 and never needed glasses. But especially I wanna encourage you to see an eye doctor if you notice changes in your central vision specifically, or if you're noticing that you're having a harder time seeing colors or fine detail. These changes can actually be the first indication of macular degeneration, particularly if you're older than age 60. So it is really important to start seeing an eye doctor every year. In terms of causes, no one knows the exact cause of wet macular degeneration, but it does develop in folks who have had dry macular degeneration, and of all people with age-related macular degeneration, about 20% will have the wet form. Wet macular degeneration can develop in different ways. It can develop as vision loss caused by abnormal blood vessel growth, so neovascularization, neovascular membranes. Sometimes abnormal new blood vessels will grow from the choroid, which is really vascular tissue underneath the retina. And if there's a break in what's called Bruch's membrane, new blood vessel growth can happen and go into the macula. So that's called choroidal neovascularization. The choroid is a layer of blood vessels between the retina and the outer firm, tough coat of the eye called the sclera. And these abnormal blood vessels can leak blood, fluid, and interfere with the retina's function. Because of that blood leaking or fluid leaking serum um, and neovascularization, there can be vision loss caused by that fluid buildup in the back of the eye. When fluid is leaking from the choroid, it can collect between that thin cell layer called the RPE or retinal pigment epithelium and the retina, or even within those layers of the retina. And that can cause a bump in the macula, a distortion in its architecture, which basically results in vision loss or distortion because your photoreceptors are lined up perfectly in a row. And when you have fluid disrupting the photoreceptors, they're now unable to receive the light and transmit an accurate image to your brain. Now there's some risk factors that may increase your risk of macular degeneration and these include age. We know that this disease is most common in people over 55. We also know that a family history and genetics does matter. This disease does have a hereditary component. Researchers have identified several genes related to developing the condition. Race matters as well because macular degeneration is more common in Caucasian particularly those with light eyes, like light green eyes or light blue eyes. Smoking cigarettes or being regularly exposed to smoke significantly increases your risk of macular degeneration, as does obesity. So research indicates that being obese increases the chance that early or intermediate macular degeneration will progress to a more severe form of the disease. In addition, cardiovascular disease. If you have diseases that affect your heart and your blood vessels, you can be at a higher risk of macular degeneration. So let's talk complications in macular degeneration. So people whose wet macular has progressed to central vision loss have a higher risk of depression and social isolation. It changes your activities of daily living, it can limit you, and with profound loss of vision, people can actually even see visual hallucinations. So this is something called Charles Binet syndrome. Charles Binet syndrome happens in patients who've had vision their whole life lives and then have profound visual loss and they'll have these really profound visual hallucinations where it looks like everything's real. I remember one patient who had gone blind with macular degeneration having Charles Binet and he would see horses and mountain scenes and just a really, really vivid landscape. 
Now there are some things you can do to prevent macular degeneration. So as I alluded to before, it's important to have routine eye exams to identify early signs of macular degeneration. The following measures can help reduce your risk of developing wet macular. You wanna manage your other medical conditions. So if you have cardiovascular disease or high blood pressure, taking your medication and following your doctor's instructions for controlling the condition can be very helpful. Do not smoke, and if you already do, try to quit or cut back because smokers are more likely to develop macular degeneration than non-smokers. And you can always ask your doctor for help stopping smoking. Maintain a healthy weight and exercise regularly. If you need to lose weight, reduce the number of calories you eat and increase the amount of exercise you get each day and see a nutritionist because I'm not your girl in terms of diet um, and exercise, but it is very important to, to make that a focus and try to control your weight. You can also eat a diet rich in fruits and vegetables a healthy diet that's full of variety of fruits and vegetables can really help especially you want foods that contain antioxidant vitamins that reduce your risk of developing macular degeneration so omega-3 has also been found to be very helpful nuts like walnuts also contain omega-3 and there's a number of medical advances being made in the treatment of macular degeneration so make sure to comment below if you'd like to see another video detailing macular degeneration treatments both current and in the pipeline and before we go I didn't put this in there but green leafy vegetables are your friends you want spinach kale collard greens Swiss chard five to seven times a week so one salad a day a midday you could do a salad with deep dark green leafy vegetables if your diet allows it and that's very helpful for macular degeneration as well and if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed please do that now and that is gonna be it for today's iSchool class is dismissed